Hi everyone, welcome to another weekly writing lesson. Uh, this week I want to give everyone um, a kind of a practical hands-on um, tool they can use to improve their writing. Um, what it is, is it's a writing program. Um, I, I don't often see these um, talked about too much in the writing field as far as the idea of programs. Um, generally, the, the idea of kind of condensing the habit or practice of writing into something like a program it's just not seen a whole lot. Um, typically, you see this more like an academic um, type of circles where if you're going for a degree, like an MFA or something like that, the, you know they'll give you a structured thing where they want a certain amount of work done in a certain finite period of time. Um, and so what I've done is I've basically taken um, what I was doing for my MFA um, and just kind of my own habits in, that I've installed, and I've basically condensed it into a quick writing program. Um, this is designed for really anyone kind of beginner all the way up through basically people that are very advanced writers, um, but it is going to favor people that are a bit more beginner or intermediate level writers. Um, those maybe that are not yet published, um, I, I would say will probably benefit the most from this. Um, so only there's really only two sides to it. There's a writing side and a reading side. I'm going to cover the writing side first. So let's get to that. Um, what it is, as far as the writing, the actual habit of just doing the writing, pretty straightforward. It's 25 polished pages every five weeks, okay? So what do I mean by that? Basically, you have to write, so first draft, up through a revision of these pages every five weeks. Um, they are going to be double-spaced, so it's not... It's not a whole lot of words. It's, it's not a very heavy word count. If you figure, you know, 250 pages, um, you know, a page base, a double space page times 25 pages. It's not really a whole lot um, to do in five weeks. Um, it is something that's a very, it, it is challenging. So, so I should not say when I say not a whole lot, I mean, it's not like, you know, some impossible thing, I think where you're going to have to upend your life to do it, but you're probably going to be dedicating probably a good portion of you know, probably, probably a good portion of maybe your evenings where maybe like an hour or two a night, um, and then probably some weekend time as well to getting this done. Um, so it's definitely something where it, it, it's not just some passive thing for sure. Um, but yep, so 25 pages every five weeks. So about five polished pages a week. Um, with that, why am I advocating for it? Well, there's really a a core, you know, kind of group of ideas. The main one is that you first are going to have a tangible set of pages written. So in other words, if you are part of a critique group, if you have to, if you want someone to read your work, if maybe they do like local author readings at like your local library or something like that, you're going to have something to read. You have, you know, basically within five weeks, something that you can read in front of a group or something you can hand to a critique partner. Um, this is huge. Like to be able to have this is base is awesome. Like a lot of us basically that are writing, we don't really often have work to show, right? Like so someone's asks, Can I see your work? Or hey, how's that book coming along? I really want to read it. You go, Yeah, I do too. Because <laughs> it's not done. It's 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 not a, it's not the point where you want the world to see it. This gives you something basically where you can actually, you know, the world can see your work. Um other reasons it gives you editing practice. I, I you know, you're not just going to spend six months a year just doing a first draft. You're actually going to get practice, um, you know, continually editing and revising. It's going to instill the habit to uh, of getting out of that draft mind state, the mindset of okay, this is the first draft, this is the second draft, this is the third draft. You get more into a very fluid sort of thought about your writing. Your writing basically becomes basically one just giant draft instead, which is ultimately, I think, where writers need to get to. Um, even myself, basically, when I use the term, you know, third draft and fourth draft and all stuff in my projects, yeah, these are additional drafts, basically, but I'm still viewing it as just one continuous work. It's not like, yeah, chunking the stages, you know, can be helpful, I guess, to tell other people and to kind of mark progress. But in my mind, I'm still always, it's always one continuous work that I'm constantly tinkering with. Um, so it gets you out of that, I could say that, that sort of locked in mind state. Um, also gives you a deadline as well. Uh, this is probably, this, this is probably the biggest reason to be frank. Uh, a lot of people, myself included, without some sort of self-imposed deadline, you, you know, it takes you forever, right? I mean, 25 polished pages, if there was no deadline, I, I'd imagine for me, basically, if I if you were like, yeah, just do 25 polished pages, then give me a deadline, it'd be like three, four months, and I, and I wouldn't even be there yet. 
Um, so just the fact that you're doing this every five weeks, it keeps you on a consistent habit of writing. Um, along the same lines of what I mentioned before about getting rid of that draft mind state, it gets rid of the no bad first draft mentality. Um, I talked before, before about that, that, that toxic mentality of the bad first draft. I, you know, where people basically will fast draft their stories. They'll put just down a, a, this past lesson video that I'm sure you, that you saw before this. You, you see me rant about this, the, <laughs> the bad first draft, how toxic that is. Um, I, I think to a writer, because you, you're basically putting down words without very conscious thought as to how you're shaping the story. It gets rid of that. You are going to be continually revising editing as you go. So you have 25 pages that are polished at the end of the five weeks. Your next section there picks up from this. And you have already have a pretty good working shape um, to at least how your story is going to start and, and continue. Last reason is at the end of about six months, you're going to have about 125 polished pages if you stick with this. That's pretty huge. Like, to be frank, to have 125 pages that are polished. And when I, 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 I will clarify what I mean by polished. When I say polished, yeah, you're going to have to continually do more drafts. You're going to have to continually revise. When I say polished, I mean getting your work to, if you're thinking draft mentality, you're probably going to get your work from like a first draft to maybe like a, to maybe let like a really good third, like second or third draft. Um, you know, if you keep that sort of mentality. This is huge. Like to be able to have that at the end of six months, hundred pages that are at kind of that level, as opposed to just fast drafting and going through and doing revisions. That's huge. Like that is a huge mark of progress there. One hundred twenty-five pages. I mean, you're, you're even you know, even conservatively, basically, you're probably you know a third of a way to being done with a story by then. You know, three hundred seventy-five pages. Even double space, that's a pretty good story. Like, especially for first publication, that's really good. Um, you know, and, and, and even 250 pages at the end of a year is awesome. Like, that, that is fantastic if you had that. You would have, you would go into the next year after starting that project, one year later, you would go in and you would have an awesome base to work off of. You would have an amazing foundation of a story to build off of. Um, so this is why I, I, I tend to advocate for this type of, um, this type of pace, if you're going to apply, um, some sort of writing program. Um, again, I'm going to reiterate it's manageable, but it will take probably some sort of like time commitment more than what probably, maybe what you're doing already, um, to hit this. So just something to be aware of with that. I am sort of gearing this towards obviously beginners, intermediates, um, as well, but, it's also for people that are more serious about their writing. If you're someone that just enjoys writing and, and, and doesn't necessarily want to sort of stress about publication, if you're not someone who's, you know, who's like really racing to get published, who's really um, kind of grinding to get that book published, then yeah, th I, I imagine this might be a little bit of intimidating to kind of put this sort of deadline. So obviously you can disregard <laughs> perhaps, um, perhaps this whole video. Um, but again, this is for people that are a bit more serious that are really trying to like get something out there. Um, this also applies to, to any kind of short fiction. Um, I should have mentioned that earlier. Obviously, I talk about novels a lot, but if you're writing short stories, I mean, a 25-page short story, like, that's that's probably kind of the longer end of them, you know, as far as word counts goes. Um, so you basically would have five short stories by the end of six months that are, yeah, you'll probably need to do some further revision to them, but they'll be, like, solid-looking stories um, to build off of. Okay? So let's get to the other side of it. So... There's always the you know yin yang right you have you have the yang energy which is like the the writing now you now you need the yin the the sort sort of recovery the sort of um, the kind of replenishing of the well mentally right so this is where reading comes in everyone talks about reading you need to read as an author very true I'm advocating that you read two books every five weeks so in the same five weeks that you're writing you're also reading two books um, pretty manageable again yeah you're probably gonna have to give up. Um, some, you know, some TV time, some time in the evenings, um, you know, before bed there, I mean, two books is not necessarily a, a stretch there, especially if they're not necessarily longer books. Yes. If you're going to read like Anna Karenina, yeah, you're probably going to read just maybe half that in five weeks, but that's again, that's okay. Like, the, the, you know, to kind of keep a relative, um, idea of pace there. When I say two books, I mean, two kind of like, you know, moderate sized um, page count books. Okay. 
but two books every five weeks. And what you're going to do is you're going to analyze one technique in each book. Really simple. Obviously, this is for yourself. You don't have to like do like whole essays there. I remember when I was going for MFA, I had to do this exact thing. Instead, just do basically one analysis. And what that is um, for you would be just picking a topic. So as you're reading, just know, oh, the author uses this interesting technique. Oh, I really like how they use dialogue here. I really like how the dialogue sounds. Okay, what are they doing with the dialogue? Like, like, like uh, is it just very authentic sounding? Is it very, um, very, very punchy sort of witty dialogue? Do they blend kind of um, sort of summary and, and scene with that where, where you have someone summarize some conversation and all of a sudden they keep the little nuggets of like interesting parts um, you know, of dialogue that are actually spoken mixed in with that paragraph? Go a bit further and see how the technique of dialogue is presented. Um, just as an example, it can be anything that can be sentences, it can be description, it could be, um, again, symbolism, metaphor. Uh, how paragraphs are structured, um, you know, the so, sort of rhythm, sentence pacing, whatever it might be, find one technique and analyze it for yourself. And again, you'll have to also be your own determinant there, but um, what might help would be maybe doing something of copy work, um, which I'll do a whole separate video at some point. A basic copy work is just where you, where you just write down what the author did, like you would just take what they did and you would type it out on a word processor and just do a quick, like, and actually study it, you know, and actually analyze it. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Obviously, the why, self-explanatory, teaches analysis. You're learning from other authors, their techniques, so that you can apply it yourself, okay? So that is it. It's not a, it's not a very complex thing. It's not like, you know, like you, you can literally write this on a sticky note. <laughs> write five, Paul, write 25 pages and read two books, right? But I hope you, the, the deeper theory as to why I'm suggesting this comes across. Um, it's nothing profound, like nothing in this, I don't think is necessarily that profound, but it will take commitment. And there's a deeper thing tied into this with, as far as commitment goes, which is it encourages you to sort of push yourself. It, it, it encourages you basically to actually put some effort into trying to achieve this goal here. If your goal is to become published, Having, having something challenging like this sort of pushes you. It, it, it takes your mentality and puts you into more of that, you know, that game mode. It puts you into that mode of, you know, the hustle mode, whatever you want to call it. It, it encourages you basically to sit there and actually, you know, push yourself to get this thing done. Um, and I think that you will probably find that if you were to stick with this for six months, I mean, 125 polished pages in six months, that I, I, I'm betting that there's a time for me not too long ago where, 125 pages would have in like a year would have been like a miracle like to get this much in a year you're getting this in six months um so just something to think about again more for people that are a bit more serious about the process here um but i do hope that if you are interested in, in using this i do think you will take a lot away um so if you have any kind of questions on this let me know let it leave it down in the comments and i will um, get back to you